By now, the realization should be coming to the people of the United States of America that Donald Trump has been lying. Not just lying, but creating a false precedence for everything he does. As we see what's going on with Russia and Mnuchin and money moving back and forth and possibly scanning the $100 plates that he took a picture with to produce in other countries. And we look at Wilbur Ross and his money he makes for shipping and the iron industry and Lighthizer and the people that have been surrounded by Donald Trump all have an interest in the things that Donald Trump has done against other countries. Lest us not forget that Mohammed bin Salman ordered the death of Khashoggi after Israel helped out Saudi Arabia to track Khashoggi and put special spy equipment inside that phone. That same government, Israel, who helped out Donald Trump to hack the DCC computer because we had an interrelationship with them. Our special intelligence agencies work with Israel, and we have a very unique communication gathering device system together. They were actually the ones we went to after San Bernardino with the locked phone, and they said they could open it. That unit that they have over there, I think they want to call it Black Cube, they're for sale to the highest bidder, and Donald Trump purchased the highest bidder. They hacked into the DCC. They made it look like it went through Russia. The reason why? Because if you can get into the DCCC server and you can take all of their files in relationship to their voter registers and your voter planning that you've already built up and then you give them back to the Republicans and you destroy theirs or alter theirs, then what you'll be doing is sabotaging them. And if you pass it through WikiLeaks and act like it came from Russia when a Russian oligarch was helping Donald Trump do it, then you're able to hide it under the cover of darkness. Saudi Arabia wanted to help out Donald Trump too. That's the reason why Donald Trump had so much property down there and so much assets down there that he had to move out of that country. As he said, thank goodness for Nexus. Nexus allowed him to remove that money from down there. Donald Trump's own tax plan allows for him to hide all of this money overseas until he dies and then to repatriate it to his family all of his family who have been criminals with him, broken the law with him. What is family? Jared Kuchner, Eric Trump, the big money man. He's, a, he's what's called the skimmer. He cuts all the corners, makes sure that everything that's cheap can be done cheap. Lara Trump, she works for Eric. She's the one that hires people for the campaign and then gives them gag orders, whether they work or they don't. So anybody that has goods on Donald Trump, they automatically get gagged. Ivanka Trump? I don't think she's in it. She might be. It all depends on what you think in it is. Is in it mean that the organization goes back in time to look at all of the criminality? Melania Trump, what does she do wrong? The question is, is that when you have a president like this in a country like this, and the mean of his communication is a telephone, and the idea of his precedence is that of Twitter, then he's created a tower of which he sits on. And historically, we've looked at the idea of a tower theory as that those that are at the top are the greatest. And they come together with one voice, one idea, to destroy us. The convenience of it is so unique. To claim that this person did this while you're secretly using this group here to do this for you here. It's so unique to say that, well, we have Hillary Clinton's emails, but how did we get them? Well, we can't tell anyone that Saudi Arabia hacked them when she was in the desert with her mobile server, so we'll cover that up. We'll move them here and see if there's anything in them. Lo and behold, there was really nothing in them. So you had a whole lot of evidence that you had hacked through Saudi Arabia to help you out with your election. You went in immediately and did exactly what they wanted. Barack Obama, who couldn't leave Saudi Arabia because Saudi Arabia wanted that missile defense system, you immediately gave it to him. Israel, who wanted to have <clears throat> their new Jerusalem because they believe that it's all Israel and nowhere else, you gave that to them. In fact, they named your streets after you, Trump, and you got into their property management through Friedman, your old lawyer. Everyone that's been surrounding you is all part of your criminal regime. Just like Maduro said, 
when you try to get mafia to work for you, it represents the fact that you are mafia. And you are mafia as a world organized crime unit. The problem is, is that you're not the top of it. And you have people you can rat on. So who will you rat on? Who will you tell on? Will you tell on the oligarch that owns the steel and the aluminum, Mr. Trump? Who will you tell on if they take away your grandchildren? If they put your children in prison? What you've done is illegal and wrong. The American people deserve better. And I'm praying that you destroy us all. I get one life. We all get one life. So why not see the best life? The life of destruction. The one that destroys everything so that way we are aware of what goes on. What better gift to give to God? One where people have a better life when they come out of it than when they were in it. Mr. Trump, you are a bad, bad man. God bless God for your coming. You rose from the sea of faces, propped up. You chose your four horsemen, then you destroyed your first one. You've risen your reign, and now your seven heads stick out there, and every country is going to come against you. All seven of them. Because of your great ten horns, your Trump Towers. God bless you, son. May you get what you deserve. I pray for you every day. God bless God.